What's up YouTube, t here today and I want to talk about the new platforming game on the rise, Ukulele is representing you know, the elements of Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, or I believe, I mean it's just a new age of platforms is coming guys and I feel like this is going to be a huge classic, it's going to be on Xbox One, Playstation 4, Nintendo, Wii U, and PC, I believe, so developers, they're sure in love, this does look like a Nintendo title, title itself. You know, back in the day when I used to play platformers like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Jack and Dexter, that type of thing. You know, then you also got inspiration for Ratchet and Clank. I never actually played a Banjo Kazooie game, but Yuka Lele, that's an interesting one. It's pretty cool. You can definitely tell it has that Banjo Kazooie inspiration feel to it because it is made by the same developers that made those games. And it makes me wonder well, this, for a game that's been, what, in development for, what, three months even? It looks great, and it's already got the funding to make this game. It's insane. You see, there was a Kickstarter raised like 1.2 million pounds. I don't know how much how much money that is in U.S. dollars, but that's just great for the developers. Now they can really make this game to its full potential. Some of the concept art I saw look great. The characters are cool. You can lay. That's an interest. I like that name. That's pretty cool. I think it's gonna stick well with the new generation of gamers and old. Maybe you know, for the people that grew up on Banjo Kazooie and all that stuff, I never did so. Will I check out Yuko Lately? We'll have to wait and see to the full game, like see what else the game has to offer. Right now, this game does look fantastic. It makes me wonder now that people have seen this and people aren't giving so much hype about the game, could they possibly vote for this character to be in Super Smash Bros? Ooh, maybe put him on the put Yuko Lately on the roster for Smash Bros. That'd be cool if the Yuko Lately won the Super Smash Bros. ballot, fighter ballot, because it'd be like the first character to like make the make the cut but not his but their game wouldn't be fully released yet that'd be interesting i would like actually I, this makes me want to vote for a ukulele but you know there's who knows this game might get canceled you never know that which would suck because this game does look fantastic and this looks like this could be a new classic character on the rise and bring and you know, open the floodgates for more 3d platformers i know knack tried to do something with it but it didn't really pan out the way it did but I'm really looking forward to Ukulele. What do you guys think in the comment section? Do you think this game is going to be a hit? Or do you think it's not going to do well because, you know, maybe 3D platformers are actually dead? And that was just, which is not true because, you know, Mario is still running around. So I'm really looking forward to this game. Can't wait to see how it all turns out. I'm just wondering what's the story behind these two characters coming together? Like, a, was it a lizard or a gecko? A chameleon and a bat teaming up together. I mean, it's definitely got that badge of Kazooie feel to it, which is fine with me. I'm really looking forward to this game. What about you guys? Um, I can't wait to see how it all turns out in the end. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a classic. I, it's, I'm glad it's on all platforms. I can't wait to see what this development team has in store for us. So let me know you guys in the comment section. Like, subscribe, more content than me, uh, ukulele, and other games in general. I'm Demolex. I'll see you in the future.